Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Last week I covered City Mapper and how you can use it locally where you live to get travel information and directions. But the main reason I started using City Mapper in the first place was to plan my holiday last year. We went to Paris, I didn't know the area at all and I wanted to have some comfort in knowing that I planned how I was going to get to different places. The City Mapper is ideal for this. So as a bolt on to last week's tip video, I thought I'd quickly show you how it can be used for this purpose. Okay, I've got City Mapper open here on my iPhone. I've uninstalled it and reinstalled it since the last video. And as I'm not using a City Mapper account, it hasn't saved any of that previous trip information or anything. So it is pretty much a clean install. Now the plan for a future trip, I need to change the location to that particular city. So I'm gonna tap on the settings cog here, then come down here and tap on city. Now there's a list of cities here and I can actually see Paris at the bottom of the screen. Now you can of course type here in the search field to narrow your search down, but there is Paris. So I'll tap and it says, welcome to Paris. And there is indeed a map of Paris there. I recognize that location. It's the site of the Eiffel Tower. So just to prove this is indeed Paris, I'm gonna pinch in just to zoom out here. And you can see this is indeed Paris, France. Right, let's zoom back in a little here to get back to just roughly where I was. Such happy memories come from looking at this. And I'm gonna tap back to come to the home screen. Okay, so planning, where did I start? Well, the first thing that I actually did was set my home location or my base. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this, but the easiest way is just to tap on get me somewhere here. And we can see the Eiffel Tower is there as our sample place. But from here, we can also set our home location. And if I'm going away for business, I can set a work location as well. But I'll tap set next to home here. And if you have the exact address of your hotel or Airbnb, for example, you can add that in here. This is the name of the small town that we stayed in. And we did stay in a nice Airbnb here, but I'm just gonna tap on this hotel here for the purposes of this video. And we can see now that has indeed been stored as our home location, so all good so far. And this means that when we're actually on our break, it doesn't matter where we are, we can tap get me home here and a list of options for traveling home are gonna be presented. 